What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're putting a new spin on a classic side dish recipe. I'll be showing you how to make jalapeno bacon mac and cheese. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit that bell, enable notifications as well. This episode is sponsored by Audible. Audible is the leading provider in spoken word entertainment all in one place. At Audible, you can find the largest selection of audiobooks ranging from bestsellers to new releases, from celebrity memoirs to business, motivation, and more. As an Audible member, you'll get one credit every single month good for any title in the entire premium selection. That means the latest bestseller, the buzziest new release, the hottest celebrity memoir, or that bucket list title that you've been meaning to pick up. Those titles are yours to keep forever in your Audible library. And this book right here, Shoe Dog, has absolutely changed my life. It's one of my favorite books of all time by Phil Knight, the owner and founder of Nike. Highly suggest you guys give that a look. I'm a pretty avid reader, guys, when I'm traveling, you know, whether it's a long road trip or a flight, this is my favorite way to kill some time. As you can see here, I have nine credits stocked up and I'm ready to go for the next couple of months. And you could be too. You can get 30 days for free by visiting audible.com slash Mr. Make It Happen or texting Mr. Make It Happen to 500 500. That's audible.com slash Mr. Make It Happen or text Mr. Make It Happen to 500 500 and get 30 days for free. All right, guys, go ahead and fire up those ovens or your smoker to 350 degrees. Today I'm using my Traeger Pro 780, but this works just fine in the oven. I've done it both ways. While we wait for our oven or our Traeger to warm up, we're going to go ahead and boil our noodles. So add a nice couple tablespoons of salt to your water. Wait for that to come to a boil and then we're going in with some Italian cavatappi noodles or you can use elbow macaroni, whatever floats your boat. Anytime I get away from the traditional mac and cheese, I try to switch the noodles up just a little bit. Makes me feel good. One of the key steps to making a good mac and cheese is to grate your own cheese fresh. The store-bought stuff is fine if you have to use it, but remember it does have potato starch and things like that on the, on the shredded cheese that prevent it from clumping up, but it also prevents the cheese from melting nicely, and we want a nice smooth cheese sauce for our mac and cheese. So here we have mozzarella, we have sharp cheddar, we got a little Parmesan. Keep it a nice and simple, three cheeses today. As always guys, the specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. Now we're gonna go ahead and dice up some jalapenos. You can leave the seeds in if you're a savage, you want it super spicy, or if you're a little bit of a punk like me, go ahead and remove the seeds and dice those jalapenos up nice and fine. Next, we're going in with a whole pack of bacon one pound of thick cut or butcher's cut bacon. We're gonna chop that up into bite-sized pieces as well. You can try turkey bacon or beef bacon for this for those of you guys that don't eat pork. There we go, we wanna break this bacon up a little bit. That way we get an even distribution of bacon throughout our mac and cheese. We don't want everything kind of clumping together. There we go, looking good. We're gonna warm our Dutch oven over medium heat and add our bacon. We want this bacon to cook slowly, that way it has the opportunity to render some of its fat. That fat is gonna be flavor and we're gonna use that fat to start our roux. So we're gonna cook this bacon until it gets nice and crispy. Once that happens, we're gonna remove the bacon with a slotted spoon, leaving behind some of that bacon fat. Don't worry guys, we're gonna drain off some of that bacon fat. So use a ladle and drain off all but about one tablespoon of the bacon fat. We are, however, gonna use a tablespoon of that bacon fat to saute our jalapenos, honestly, because I forgot to add them, so we had to do that in a separate skillet. Shout out to the dishwasher. We're gonna hit those jalapenos with a little all-purpose seasoning, a little salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder, and just saute the jalapenos in that bacon fat for about two to three minutes or until they start to kind of tenderize a bit. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. So back to our Dutch oven, we're going in with two to three tablespoons of butter. That's right, people, butter and bacon fat because we're here for a good time, not a long time. Now I'm going in with two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and some all-purpose seasoning. You can grab yours via the link in the description box below and enjoy that two for 15 discount I got for you. Once it starts to foam up like so, you can see that our roux is coming together nicely. Tons of flavor in here from the bacon, the all-purpose seasoning. Now I'm going in with two cups of half and half and one cup of heavy cream. As always, guys, specific measurements and ingredients can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. We're still working over medium heat here. We just want to work everything together, make sure that there's no lumps in our sauce. Bring it up to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer. 
Once it reaches that simmer, we're gonna kill the heat and start adding in our cheese. So we're going in with some Parmesan cheese, a little mozzarella, a little cheddar. Make sure you save yourself enough cheese to top the macaroni and cheese before it goes into the oven or the smoker. And you just wanna add the cheese a little bit at a time, stirring occasionally. We're gonna have a nice smooth sauce. It's gonna melt beautifully because we shredded it ourselves. You want that cheese to be smoother than a three day weekend. There we go, looking good. Man, nothing like a good homemade cheese sauce. This is how I like to make my mac and cheese. No eggs needed when you use the roux method. Let me know what you think in the comments. Now we're going in with a whole pack of bacon, a few jalapenos that have been diced up beautifully. We're gonna mix that together. Just tons of flavor in this Dutch oven, guys. This macaroni and cheese has quickly become one of my favorite versions of mac and cheese, honestly. We're adding in those noodles. We're gonna give them a nice stir. This is when I wish I had the sound effects for you guys. Oh man, look at that. I could eat it just like that, to be honest. All right, taste it right here. Make sure your seasonings are right. If not, you can add a little bit more salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, something like that. We're gonna throw this bad boy into a cast iron skillet because that's the way it's done. Little top layer of all purpose seasoning because why the hell not? And this is ready for the oven or the smoker, depending on how you want to get down. Either way, it's going to be absolutely delicious. Smooth out the top, and then we're going down with a blend of cheddar and mozzarella. It's going to melt beautifully. Get a nice little cheese pull from that mozzarella. We got our smoke rolling. The Traeger's fired up at 350 degrees. The mac and cheese is going on, and we're going to let that bake for about 25 to 35 minutes or until it's browned and bubbly like so. And I am ready to get a taste test any minute. A little bit of food porn, a couple money shots for you guys. It's only right. Got to let it cool for a few minutes. A little bit longer than I actually let it cool, but you guys know the drill. Here we go. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot. Oh, man. That is mac and cheese, guys. I'm gonna plate this up and get myself a taste test. Look at that. Here we go, moment of truth. Oh man, doesn't get much better than that, guys. Give this one a try next time you make mac and cheese. Definitely a fork drop moment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up, and that bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.